Hey guys, it's Maxi, and in this video, I'm gonna be breaking down the thought process on how to pop off and ranked on Fade. Before we get into the video though, we have a quick message from today's sponsor. Does your internet stink? Do you ever find yourself dying before you can even comprehend what happened? Three, two, one. Let me tell you about Exit Lag. Exit Lag is a performance optimization software that will not only lower your ping, but it can also boost your FPS, which are two hugely important variables when it comes to FPS games like Valorant. So if you're looking for that extra edge to hit that rank that you've been gunning for, head over to ExitLag.com. The sign up process is quick and easy, and the best part is that you get a 3 day free trial and you don't even have to have a credit card on file to try it out. You click here and then you can download and install. Once you have it opened up, you can search for Valorant. Exit Lag supports a bunch of different online games. Game, so once you find and select the server that's best going to suit your needs, you hit apply routes. And before you know it, Exilag will be helping you find the fastest routes to game servers to have you clicking heads faster than you could have ever imagined. Something that's even better is that Exilag is currently having a Black November sale with awesome subscription discounts, meaning that if you subscribe for two months, you get a third one free. That means an extra month of smooth head taps for you. Be sure to check the Exilag link in the description if this piques your interest. Thank you again. So getting back into it, this is a game back to my Immortal 3 where I go 23 and 11 on Fade with a tracker score of 995. I'm going to be skipping to the meat of the game because the first couple of rounds were disastrous. At first I half expected this game to be a remake because the comp and the vibes were off in Agent Select. I was 100% certain it was going to be one of those games where somebody throws because their duelist got locked. The second round had this interaction that didn't really help quell my worries. Go for bro. Oh he's trolling. We can't stop him. GG. GG. Going into the second round, the Phoenix forces instantly, so since I'm already smelling one of those games where it feels like you waste half an hour, I buy a roundup because I'm going for a sheriff clip, baby. <laughs> Too bad I'm a fat ugly loser. So naturally, we lose that round. Somebody go see, bro. Buying up with what I can here, I get a Spectre since this round they're probably going to be bonusing anyways. That just means we're going to be on an even playing field. Since I know that they're bonusing, I play in between C and B because I want to be able to rotate fast. Since most bonuses are usually SMGs and stuff, people usually lean towards rushes. So I'm eyeing C for some quick info, but then I hear some heavy activity towards B. There. Take hold. Spike down, B. Oh, oh, uh, Alright. My hunch is right, and I ended up getting a juicy 3k. I seize instantly because they get decayed and have their sound removed, which is pretty debilitating and annoying. After that, I was gonna dog, but then I noticed in my minimap that two of my teammates are fighting hard from breakable door. So I don't spare another second because I want to help my boys. Also, since these guys are fighting really hard, if I peek now, they have all the attention, so it's gonna just end up being easy pickings for me. Going into the next round, since we don't have a sentinel, I plan on playing a little bit more aggressive to contest important areas on the map because I want to be able to just grind them down. <clears throat> hey, can you do me a favor? You one way C lobby? I'm gonna see if I can make yeah. them with some util. You may have heard before how I break down maps, but every map can be broken down into three lanes. And every lane has these neutral zones that are up for grabs for both teams. Mountain is an extremely important neutral zone. So if I can contest kind of early, I can waste some util, maybe a couple flashes, maybe a nade or a dog. Things that if they don't have will make our lives way easier when it comes to holding sight. At least that's one of the reasons why map control like this is really important. Something I really want to point out is right here since a killjoy is a lurking, I thought he'd probably be alone which in hindsight is really bad to assume. I'm so easily punishable here, if I was on my tippy toes I would instantly ready myself after that killjoy pick for any sort of trade in case they were re-walking back towards C as a team. Luckily for me he was lurking alone. Before that pick though, I opened this door right here just to clear for the B lurk and try to get some information, try to see what's going on, and in the same note, possibly bait out a peek in case if somebody was lurking towards C. Turns out this KJ got brained on because she got completely telegraphed into trying to peek around the corner towards the end of the door cycle and I went around the mound and got an easy pick. This is why I think it's super important to master different agents if you truly want to improve in Valorant. As somebody who loves Killjoy on this map, I've literally lived this exact scenario before to varying degrees of success. So now that I'm on the other side of the thing, I can at least expect how it can play out. The author, the author. Spike down A. They're gonna be on your fade. They're planning B. 
spike planted. My ult is ready. Nightmare, take them! Bring them down. Where are you? Bring them down. One enemy remaining. Last player standing. Nice, go ahead. After killing the omen and using my ultimate, I'm tossing my utility here to just keep these guys occupied to buy time for my jet to get closer to help. I make sure not to swing or do anything too crazy until my jet is close enough to where he's capable of trading me. If I pick a second too early, it just turns into a 2v1, so I wait till I can take a 2 on 2 fight with this guy. Enemy remaining. Last player standing. Nice, go ahead. The next round is going to be the same protocol. Contest and make him work for the map at least a little bit. He's going to CR for me? Yeah. Get out of my way! I'll find you. We'll catch them. Since we just saw KJ right there on the map, I know I have a little bit of leeway to try to walk up to try to get some good timing on this guy. I make sure to go nice and slow and take my absolute time clearing every single possible different angle that somebody can be in. This guy already got caught lacking once, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was on his guard extra hard. I hear some footsteps walking away, so I start getting excited because I think I got the best timing in the world. What? Hello. Where are one enemy remaining? Last player standing. <laughs> there is a webcam pointed at me at that exact moment. The only thing you would see would be me just getting up and pacing my room with my head in my hand. I was so annoyed because that could have been three rounds in a row where I have crazy impact, but I sold and I'm once again reminded why I am alone. The next round we get ran over, so I'm skipping it. The next round, everybody's tilted and there's a lot of people forcing and I have nobody to blame but myself because of my stupid stinky whiff. Since we're lacking on Sentinels, this round, I'm planning on dedicating myself to hold C because they have KJO and a Sky ult. I'm gonna come and see you again. Can you smoke it for me? Yeah, yep. I think we just kill JL. I'll find you. Catch them. Nice. Nice. I can ult it. Nice. Oh, bring them down. Go, go, they're blind. I want to break down this eye that I tossed. Since they're coming C, I make sure to wait to use the eye until they're just about to execute the site. I want them close to the entrance so I can toss it behind them in hopes for a clear tick because they're going to be forced to 180 around to shoot my eye. A bonus is that the sky is still in her dog which means that's just one dude without their gun out. My eye ticks and I get a free pick that snowballs into an easy round win for us. The very next round, I fall right back into map control protocol. Sadly, the round boils down into a 1v2 that I end up losing sadly. Going into this next round, since they still have their Killjoy ultimate, I'm not getting off the protocol to fight for this mound and C lane. I want to take that play completely off the board for them. And if they try to force it, I want them to regret trying. We'll catch them. Yeah, they're C's, they're C's. Yeah, I'm gonna ult. Fucking beer. Just one HP. One HP. Both one HP. Both one HP. They're coming back. They're coming back to you guys. One enemy remaining. Watch your eyes. Push. Behind the bar. That's it. Break time. Since we fought for C really hard that round and we won out, next round I'm guessing that they might wuss out and try B instead since their money isn't the best. So that's what I'm contesting. Kyle likes to B or A every round. <clears throat> Yeah, I was gonna there. just sit here and then maybe like dog late. Get out of my way. Eh. That's what I'm for, guys. Okay. More HP. After that ugly kill on KJ, I ultimate to help my raise because I'm under the assumption that his side is getting hit. My ultimate goes off and it doesn't get any ping, so I use the rest of my utility to try to get some info to figure out where the rest of these guys are. Got one. Where are you? One enemy remaining. He's there. Spike down A. 
Oh, okay, he's flashed. Nice. The next round is a bit of a misunderstanding with my omen and I, and unfortunately we end up losing the round. It's all good though, because sometimes silly stuff happens and you can't help it. I'll forgive him though, because he was by far my best teammate in this game, and his vibes of taking the game serious, communicating, and trying to win is the only reason I tried so hard, if I had to be honest. So shout out to whoever this omen was, you're the real MVP. The next round, since I'm alone on the sea, I'm not going to be contesting it too hard because if I die, this entire lane is going to be lost. Usually, I like floating around the map, but since I'm the only person with util to possibly stall, I'm filling the sentinel role. I fade I right here to clear out mound for the time being, while cheating towards B and A because there's a lot of activity towards that A lane. It could still work up B too, which I don't know. Alright, one more B. What the fuck are they doing? I'm making sure when I do rotate, I always walk and keep my presence hidden to punish any lurkers. You always want to minimize the relay of information no matter what. You gotta make these guys work for it. And I'm totally fine with retaking C is 5 if they end up going there because I still have lots of util. They end up slow hitting B, but since I'm ready for it, I stop it in its tracks and after that, we mop them up and we're ready for the next half. That half should have been ours to lose by the way, since our comp is more suited for attacking, so I'll happily take a 6-6 half. Into the second pistol round, I buy full utility because I'm the nicest teammate in the world. That's a joke, because I literally only ever do this on attacking. When it comes to defense, best believe I'm getting a good pistol. Let's go see against you guys. I'm not tossing utility early. I'm letting these guys know beforehand that I'm not using my utility to clear mound. That's because most of the time, people don't really contest C long when it comes to pistol round, and I want to save all my utility to have a stronger sight hit. So you can just beat this guy. Since I'm the initiator, I want to make sure we can get things rolling, and that means making sure my teammates don't hesitate one bit. So I want them all on the same page. Good communication helps with that. He's side two. Hey, don't don't push anyone. Okay. Nice. Good Get the bomb down. Run waterfall one. Uh, one I flash. Enemy nice. Good job, Jet. Good three kill. Good entries. You guys fucking big maniacs. I love it. Alright, now we go in. So since they're going to be broke this round, I want to attack a lane that's going to be long range fight. We have the advantage when it comes to guns. I eye early because I want to paint a picture for my teammates on what's clear and what's not. I seize the staircase to slow down any flanks from there while fade dogging all the little rat angles. Bring them down. Oh fuck. Spike planted. Flank bro. It's only one right now, it's only one. Up what gun is that flank? It's only a ghost, only a ghost. Sleep. Enemy spot today. The rage is wrong. Get back on, get back on. One enemy remaining. One HP on this guy. I'm just gonna play it safe. I'm for 88. Oh, There's no way bot armor. He's hurt. Satchel out. He's willing to get your orb. You guys wanna go good? Well, I'm down. Wanna contact or are we flying up? We just go up. Okay, I'm gonna just dog early then. Dog, I, and then Time I might go work. for a leaf lane. Yo, yo, bye. Right here, even though I think it's a little bit too obvious to hit B this round, since my teammates want to hit it, I'm not gonna give any resistance because I want us all on the same page. Playing together is almost always going to be the best route to take. Even if it's a bad play, if all five of us are doing it, it has a better chance than if we weren't together. Pulls. Three, three. Just flanking. Oh. Just gonna be behind us. Bottom B. Get. Um, I can just get orb on C and just open it. Yeah, let's do it. These are just gonna be going for insta flank to uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get orb and melt in. Just clear that shit. Yeah. They're gonna insta flank if it's. Watch out if they open door. Hang on, sorry, right? Give me bump, give me bump, give me bump. I'm dead, dead, dead. I'm picking flank up. One more flank, I think. Yeah. Oh, I'm dead. 
Two flames. 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 Yeah, the people that fight A are just gonna insta flank. Just did it that round, I killed them. But since we don't have any flank trips, I'm making sure that these guys are aware that our flank is gonna be painfully open. Luckily, the last round they played exactly how I expected them to and stopped it a little bit, even though I let my Phoenix down. The reason I was so sure this is gonna happen was I'm just really going off the understanding of map control. Because of the bonus round that we lost and we fought towards B, I heard a whole lot of ruckus towards A main, so I can only assume that they're fighting for its control. And on top of that, I already know that their jet pushed and flanked instantly so I already know it's in their arsenal I'll find you <laughs> bring them down me down, me down oh, my bad bring them down they're blind with fear there Three, three, three. Watch that, watch that. Can you stop smoking here? Just like more close. I've got your trail. Mayor, take them. Mark three. One enemy remaining. Where are you? I think we do A again. I can just there. dash across the rubble and then there. I can eye and then we only flash. I think we fucking shit on him. Let him dash before you flash. So it doesn't hit him. Oh wait, okay. I'll find you. No one's picking. Yeah, we're not gonna we can just take it then. Dogging this for you? Shit. Bring them down. Hey, Jim, you know. Bring them down. Reloading. I'm for sure to be flanking, watch out on them. 124 on Sky and 56 on Raze. Sky 1 HP. Oh my god, I whiffed. 120, 120. 120 on me. Both on. Nice. Sweet dreams, asshole. Shit. They don't do the same thing. I don't think they'll be able to stop us with bad guns. Nah, let me get bomb. Are we going in? Yeah, yeah, I think we just keep doing that. Little rocket, shit gets crazy. We just keep buying off for it. Where are you? I can dive. Bring them down. He's inside. Inside. Breaking the door. Omen killed. Oh, I need to open the door again. Yeah, he's still inside. Be careful, I can't flank. Yeah, he can be flanking. I'm giving it. I'm gonna play real he's safe flying. here. Yeah. Should be both. Probably. You need to smoke it off too. Both, both, just smoke it off. Oh, I have no smoke, I have no smoke. Where are you going? Come back, dog. Stealing Flashing. Smoking, One smoking. Smoke, smoke. Smoke, I smoke. Yeah, I'm just gonna flash out. Dog. Dogging right. Nice, nice, man. Good shit, dude. Good job. Here, I'm playing pretty safe. I'm really just playing off my Omen's contact until I see that he's flashing. The last thing that we want is for the flash to be wasted, so I peek to capitalize off it and it nets me a free pick. After that, since my Omen's the one in the open, I just tuck to play safer and I'm mostly just playing to trade off him. He wins his win though, and it's easy. I'm gonna get the Match orb on C and I'm just open. Yeah, that's it. I'll try to hold the flank a little bit stronger this time. Unless if you want to, Omen. Cause uh, these guys fucking love flanking. I don't want the Phoenix right, to I can die again. Yeah. I might just eye early. Thanks. Because I don't think my I don't think my eye is doing anything on site. Oh. Another reason that I want to eye early is that they might actually contest early this round, whereas on pistol round, I thought it was highly unlikely for it to happen with their comp. Oh, oh, oh. oh he's like Oh, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Let's take this spawn, let's take this spawn. I'm gonna I'm gonna dog it. Security. I don't have fifty. One spawn, one spawn. We found one. <laughs> two there, two there. Okay, wait. Bro! Spike planted. Get over here. Owen's stuck at him 50. Yeah, I'm just strolling. Scatter. There. Over here. Okay. Let's kill this guy. Get the judge, get the judge. One enemy remains. Reloading. Take them. Marked one. 
You yeah. Attackers win. So the second that I process that we're in a 2v2, but both of their guys are split, rather than waiting for them to group up and pinch us, I take the initiative and push one of the dudes to take the pressure off us. That's because after we take out the raise here, we can sit behind cover and just play off each other versus just being sitting ducks and just waiting to get collapsed on. And that turns into a GG. And that's how you match a VP on Fade. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is today's code word for a chance of free coaching.